Good morning. It is Saturday, May 9th, and I am in the Great Smoky Mountains. I checked the trail out. It snowed up here last night. <laughs> we started about 9 o'clock, and it was 24 degrees here. We left uh, Gatlinburg. It was uh, 39. <laughs> Or no, it was 28, excuse me, 28. And it's windy. But yeah, the very top of the mountains got a little snow last night. But anyway, we are hiking the uh, Appalachian Trail at Newfound Gap up to Charlie's Bunyan. And then we're gonna backtrack about a mile and a half and there's an intersection of the Boulevard Trail, which takes you to Mount Leconte. And we're gonna spend the night on Mount Leconte tonight. So we got about a 12, 13 mile hike today. And, uh, excuse me, we're going uphill too. <laughs> but, uh, whew, it's uh, rained all day yesterday. And I happened to get up at 3.30 this morning. It was still raining. And, but the forecast was sunny today and it is, there's not a cloud in the sky. So we lucked out. So we'll have some awesome views. Charlie's Bunyan is an awesome view. And Mount Leconte. If it uh, doesn't cloud up on us. But yeah, it's supposed to, we're figuring it's gonna be about 24 degrees tonight, camping out, but I'll show you the sights. We happen, ha we happen to be in the shade right now. Doesn't look like it, but that trail solid ice. <laughs> I have almost busted my ass 10 times. You can't even tell it looks like water, but it is ice. Need to oh, shit, like that. <laughs> I sure don't want to fall today on rocks. It's not bad when you're in the sunshine, but you get on the other side. It is cold and windy, but it's going to get up to 55 today, so it won't be that bad. Till the night, we're hoping uh, nobody's at the uh, Mount Leconte shelter, and we're going to stay in there tonight, as long as there's nobody else in it. Get out of the wind. Mount Leconte is always windy. Well, we finally hit some flat ground. God, we've been going uphill ever since we uh, left the parking lot. There, it is a thousand foot ele uh, elevation gain to Charlie's Bunyan. And uh, we're getting close to, I can't remember the name of it, Ice Spring Shelter or something. We're gonna stop there and take a break. It's kind of a famous shelter, a rock shelter in the AT. We saw a sign that said uh, when you when the AT hikers come through here, uh, you have to pay 25 bucks and sign a permit at the entrance of the park. And it said uh, it was closed to AT hikers. <laughs> the Smokies was. That would suck if you already had hiked from Springer Mountain and got here and you couldn't get through it. But knowing through hikers, they went on anyway. <laughs> Closed or not. <laughs> Holy crap, it's solid ice right here. Whoa! All right, gotta put the phone up. <laughs> or I bust my butt. Well, we're making our way down to the shelter. What was the name of this shelter? Sweetwater. 
sweet water, ice, <laughs> shelter. Oh, sunshine. Yeah, see, they got a tarp up. intersection of the boulevard trail so we just got on it and about five and a half miles to Mount Leconte we've hiked uh, about eight already and it, the trail is still icy it's a wonder either either of us have fallen today <laughs> done the splits a few times <laughs> snow, snow, snow. And we're going downhill. But it's not too slippery. Yeah, so this trail is about five miles long, as I mentioned, and it takes you all the way down to the, well, it takes you 2,000 feet down, and you got a 2,000 foot climb up Mount Leconte. So it doesn't take you quite all the way down. And this is considered a backcountry trail. I doubt anybody's on it but us today. Tommy said he hasn't seen any footprints in the snow. So we might have Mount Leconte to ourselves tonight. Because the way this wind is whipping, I think I'd rather stay in the shelter than set my tent up. Most of these shelters now, they've put uh, tarps up so you can kind of close them off because they're only three-sided with a big opening and you put big tarps up, keep the wind off of you. But anyway, I'm gonna put this phone up cause it's a little dicey. <laughs> oh, there's Tommy up there waiting on me. <laughs> Kind of hit a, a cedar area, a lot of moss. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but there's steam coming up off this moss as the sun's hitting it. Well, not steam, but <laughs> here's a big one. See if I can catch it on camera. It's on fire. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool looking though. So it's three o'clock, done about eight and a half miles. I think earlier I said we, we had done eight. I, I forgot I'd counted too many when we backtracked. But we got about three and a half to go the top of Mount Leconte 
finally has warmed up a little bit. <clears throat> Thank goodness. But uh, starting to have some views on this backside over here. But it's through the trees, so phone won't pick that up. So yeah, I'm gonna be ready to chill when we get there. I brought a bottle of wine and a water bottle. <laughs> Something to keep me warm tonight. And Tommy brought one too. He usually brings liquor. <laughs> and uh, like a couple little, uh, little miniatures. But uh, he brought wine this time. So we got two bottles of wine with us. <laughs> made it up to Myrtle Point and we're both whipped <laughs> and it's an awesome view I can't see what I'm shooting my screen the sun's behind us and it's pitch black <laughs> maybe I'm doing a good job I don't know this is one of the best views up here We made it to Leconte Shelter, and we've decided uh, this is where we're staying tonight. And there's Mr. Tommy, busted out the wine already. <laughs> and I'll show you, show you what, the, there's where we'll hang our backpacks tonight. This, uh, here, I'll just show you the sign. <laughs> Danger, bears are active in this area. But, shelter is inside here and you just basically put you uh ground sheet down and then we'll put your pad down and sleep and stuff on the top and there's a top bunk too i may sleep up there tonight just in case a bear does come in here <laughs> all right it's wine time
Well, we uh, walked down here to get water, and uh, you're not supposed to be in here. Everything's locked down, but we came anyway. <laughs> so there's Mount Leconte, elevation 6593. That's the lodge. And then they have all these little cabins you can rent for the night. You saw the signs, right? No, sorry. <laughs> Time's changing. So anyway, uh, these are little, we just got interrupted by the caretaker, told us to get out of here. <laughs> so here's these little cabins you can rent. And uh, they uh, pretty much stay booked up a year out in advance. But there's, there's a bunch of them out here. Well, good morning. It is Sunday, May 10th. I uh, left camp about 10 o'clock. It was cold. <laughs> We're guessing it got down about 26, maybe 28. And we're actually hiking up to Cliff Tops, which is uh, up on Mount Leconte. It's about 0.3 mile hike up to another uh, famous overlook. So that's what we're doing now before we hit our uh, bullhead trail to take us back to the parking lot, which is gonna be about seven miles. So it's going uphill. <laughs> It's uh, sunny, not a cloud in the sky. Had a trail runner come by this morning. And when he came back by, he stopped. And he said this was the first time in his life he's ever gone to cliff tops. And there hasn't been a ton of people. <laughs> so we had uh, Myrtle Point to ourselves yesterday. And it looks like we're gonna have cliff tops to ourselves. Didn't sleep real well last night. Never do first night out. <laughs> Wasn't cold, I just couldn't get comfortable. We both were pretty whipped from that hike yesterday. Even though it was only 10 and a half miles, it was pretty, uh, it was a lot of up and down. Of course, as you saw, we were hiking on snow and ice. And pretty much wore our legs out. Felt like I hiked about 15 or 16. <laughs> but anyway, I get up here to Cliff Tops and show you the views. We made it to Cliff Tops and here's our view from up here. now on the bullhead trail which we got six and a half miles to the vehicle all downhill <laughs> so far it's been a ridge trail kind of like uh, uh the boulevard yesterday We're just walking the ridge and you got some views uh of gatlinburg and pigeon fords down there supposedly we're going to go through a burn section that will uh open up the views for you. That fire that those kids started a few years ago burned this area <laughs> and got part of this trail. The only bad thing is when we get done hiking, we can't go to a restaurant and eat. <laughs> Actually, uh, there are some open in Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg, but we're not gonna go. Probably stop at Taco Bell. <laughs> Yeehaw. Oh, cool. But anyway, 
As soon as I see something, I'll let you know. Well, as we're descending down the mountain, there's Gatlinburg. And then up here is Pigeon Forge, Dollywood. <laughs> And here's the trail. Still in the snow a little bit. Not too bad. So as we're descending, it's getting warm. We were just talking about we're gonna stop shed clothes. <laughs> so it's supposed to be 10 degrees higher today than yesterday. So high today, 65. We're actually walking, as I mentioned earlier, a ridge trail. But you got some views out here. reached the uh, burn section of the trail pretty ugly taking his time or she <laughs> that is so funny that I just mentioned a good thing we're sleeping on the side of the trail <laughs> here. well we're getting close to the end uh, as you saw in the last video and pics i uh we ran into a little black bear and it was so funny i swear to you right maybe 10 seconds before we ran into it i told tommy i said you know now we just need to get a bear on video <laughs> and we turned the corner and there was a small black bear he had been resting there was a rock inlet like a uh, little small cave 
he was in there, I think, resting because it was nice and cool and damp. And he wasn't scared of us at all. So I'm not sure how the pics yet look because uh, my son was behind us and I couldn't see my screen very well. But maybe they came out. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the hike. And looking forward to the car, some AC, and a cold yingling. <laughs> see you next time. Thanks. Bye.